China is at it again. It has once again started rehearsing the Taiwan war. Planes have been sent towards the island. So have ships. What exactly is China's end game here? The invasion of Taiwan. Currently, it is testing waters, figuring out whether now is the right time. The world is not really giving China a reason to think no, because when earlier today, 25 Chinese warplanes were spotted near Taiwan, the world watched silently. There are two ways to look at this. Is this the world's war to fight? And if it is not, will the silence only encourage China to look beyond Taiwan? Because that is exactly what China wants. Start with Taiwan and take it from there. The warplanes that were spotted earlier today were in Taiwan's air defense identification zone. What is that, you ask? Well, an air defense identification zone is a buffer zone outside the country's sovereign airspace. Entering into a country's space like this one requires its permission. And any violation of this is treated as the violation of a country's sovereignty. But China here does not even recognize Taiwan's sovereignty. It considers the island a part of China, remember. You could say that China is deluded, it is fixated on history, or just an obsessive challenger of the rule of law. Either way, the reality stays unchanged. And the reality is that China has its eyes set on Taiwan. Earlier today, the Chinese J-10 planes flew into the southwest corner of Taiwan's air defense identification zone. At least three Chinese ships were spotted sailing near Taiwan. Taipei says this harassment is regular. But from where I am sitting, it looks more like intimidation. Even a glimpse of what may be in store. And why do I say that? Because with every rehearsal, with every war game, China is only coming closer to Taiwan. Earlier this week, four Chinese planes crossed the median line of the strait. For decades, this line served as a red line between China and Taiwan. But not anymore. Now, China has been regularly crossing the red line and the frequency of these war games has intensified. And how? Taiwan has chosen not to be a silent spectator. Earlier today, it responded to Chinese provocation by scrambling jets, sending ships, even activating its coastal missile defense systems. But to what end? For how long will this story keep playing in loop? Because China sees nothing wrong in doing what it is doing. It says these rehearsals are justified. But how and why? To defend its territorial integrity. And you see the problem here. Beijing is living in an alternate reality. One where Taiwan is a part of China. One where it is okay to send fighter planes into a neighboring country's air defense zone. One where you can provoke a war while also championing sovereignty. These visuals are from Beijing, where the Chinese president Xi Jinping met the Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko. Guess what the two of them spoke about? Safeguarding sovereignty. Ironical much. Listen in. Given the instability and turbulence of the international situation, China is actively inclined to continue to apply joint efforts with Belarus in order to strengthen mutual political trust and practical cooperation in the interests of dynamic, healthy and sustainable development of bilateral relations. We condemned the actions aimed at heightening tensions around Taiwan. 
Belarus has always stood by the One China principle, promoted a peaceful solution and strongly opposed any foreign interference in the internal affairs of the People's Republic of China. Minsk has supported and will continue to support Beijing in all sensitive issues, including those of Xinjiang, the South China Sea, Hong Kong and Taiwan. And when he says heightened tensions around Taiwan, Lukashenko is not referring to the Chinese provocation, but of a U.S. Navy jet flying over the Taiwan Strait. It happened on Monday. The Chinese military obviously objected. It accused the United States of hyping the flight and inflaming tensions. The spokesperson for China's Eastern Theater Command went on to say that the U.S. flight has quote-unquote deliberately disrupted the regional situation and jeopardized the peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. That's pretty rich, is it not? And Washington, by the way, replied by saying that the flight was aimed towards demonstrating America's commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. It has been the U.S. versus China on Taiwan for quite some time now, and Belarus has failed to surprise with its choice of side. After all, during this visit, she and fellow dictator Lukashenko signed an all-weather strategic partnership. And guess what it follows? A no-limits partnership with Russia, which just happens to be the closest ally of Belarus. Remember, we have been telling you about the new axis between China, Iran and Moscow? Well, it is expanding and changing the dynamics in the Taiwan Strait. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.